Hey guys, it's Super Sonic X22. Just call me Sonic. And we're back at it. Sonic Generations Part 11. Um, yeah, we got some. We got a minor difficulty. Um, see. I did the Part 11 right, but I realized it wasn't recording. <laughs> so. All the missions I did for Speed Highway are already done. So, yeah. I'm just gonna walk you through all of them again. That's pretty much what this video is. Um. Yeah. Dang it. That kind of made me sad. Um. And also, um, I just realized I haven't had a question of the day in the last two videos, so. I'm sorry for, you know, I forgot about that. Sorry about that, guys. And, um, I already got the question of the day for this video. Um, Chow Hunt. Um, yeah. This is basically a race between me and Cream, and, you know, I also gotta collect enough Chows, basically, <clears throat> to beat the race, well, to win the race. Last time, she cheated, man, she was flying, and then cars kept running into me and stuff, and I had to platform a lot, it was, see, see, them cars got it out for me. The cars don't care, they, they cheating, she cheating. She a little cheater. See, see, see? Nearly got hit by a car. These cars have it out for me. Alright, see, because the first time I did this, I lost. Because these cars, man, they got it out for me. Alright, but no big deal. Um, now, the question of the day, I was going to make it... Well, you know the adventure era? Um, with Speed Highway, City Escape and Seaside Hill. Um, so, I think that's what's called the Adventure Era. What is your favorite Sonic game in the Adventure Era? That's the question of the day, guys. Answer that for me in the comments below. Um, me personally, it's a serious, serious, serious tie between, come on, come on, come on, between, um, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and, what is it, um, Sonic Heroes. Really, because those games are just so amazing, hands down. They, they, they just tie for me. They, they tie so bad. Quick edit, guys. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. So, yeah, like I said, close tie for me. They, they tie, seriously, for me. Um, stop the race, alright. And originally, when I did this, I accidentally started on Modern Sonic, and then went to Classic, but, eh, I'm just walking it back through, because, um, like I said, I wasn't recording, and I totally forgot. <laughs> there was a fail. Alright. Um, yeah, of course I gotta reach the goal before the Doppelganger does, it wouldn't be a race then. <laughs> Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, fudge sticks. All right. And we're going. Now. Hop right there, guys. Makes life easier for a shortcut. All right. Go up here. Still to this day, I can't tell whether those are actual cops or Eggman robots. Or robots made by Eggman. I, I still can't tell. I honestly think they're cops. Just regular cops, but those are the weirdest looking cops I've ever seen. Like, is this a futuristic era or whatever? Like, those are the weirdest cops I've ever seen. Hands down. My phone just went off. <laughs> Sorry if you guys heard that. Huh. Hit that bell to get some extra ring. Whoa, get some extra ring. I still don't grab that ring. Um, to get some extra rings. Anyway. Wow. I'm really beating the time here. Oh, sweet Jesus. Alright. Man, that helicopter ride is awesome. Gotta say, it's awesome, guys. Totally try it. <laughs> I've never actually been in a helicopter before. I've never been in the airplane. 
I kind of don't want to take the risk of going in the helicopter. I'm, I'm already afraid of heights, kind of. Kind of. So, I'm not trying to, not trying to test that. Anytime soon. Okay, this is, that's a fail. Okay, that doppelganger is catching up fast. I don't know what got I don't know what got into him, but he is catching up mad fast on that map. Like that guy takes some freak was Was he on that crack cocaine or something like that? He's going mad fast. That's my friend always tells me Sonic's always on that crack cocaine. I don't know why, but whatever. Alright, top of the race to Carol. And now we're moving on to the resisting arrest. Like I said, you gotta wait, are those cops right? Or are those monkeys? I, I, I just looked at the picture, I couldn't tell. Hmm. Guess we'll find out later. Alright, here we go. Let's do okay, I'll fail. It's the douche, hop on that cop, dude. Yeah, get out of here, coppers. You'll never take me alive. Oh, dang it. Get over here. Oh, there we go. You know, Sega is kind of going down, don't going downhill for me recently. Like, they're just failing badly. Like, all these things are not doing that we totally want. It's just making them fail. Fudge sticks. Fail. Like, honestly, I think they need to hurry up and stop messing around and just make a sign of the cool. But seriously, that should be priority number one for Sega. It's like, everybody's requested it. I know, I know everybody's requested it. Like, that, that, that's something they always request. And people want to see a Sonic Heroes 2, but to be honest, all I want is a Sonic Heroes remake. Like an HD remake. Um, that, that's really all I want. I wouldn't really care for a Sonic Heroes 2 like that. But if they could do it, that'd be nice. Um, just don't make it stupid. So I really said it. Um, yeah, but they, they need to get on the ball. Like, I heard news that Sega might be switching to the, um, you know, mobile stuff like a, uh, mobile phones and tablets and stuff, and might not be on console anymore, but Sonic anymore. So that kind of made me sad. I hope that's not true. Oh, I got an A. I'm gonna do that one more time. I hope that's not true, because, um, Sega is like a big, well, Sonic's like a big part of my life. I know that much. I grew up on this dude. That's why I like him so much. Yeah. I hope he doesn't leave console. That, that's that kind of that sucks. I mean, Sonic's like he's all that for me. Like if he leaves consoles, I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm not gonna be playing Sonic anymore. Apparently, yeah, that's the that's the downside. I mean, that makes it sad. <laughs> but yeah. All I'm hoping is that they get back on the ball and make a sign of the three That's all they can really do right now is succeed. Not kind of well for me at least, I think. Or like, you know, HD remake something that was like amazing in its time. Like, for me, really, the only eight, come on. The only HD remake I want to see right now, well, two, I actually kind of want to see two movies. Um, I want to see Sonic Heroes HD remake, and I also want to see a Sonic Riders HD remake. But, you know, Sonic Riders the original, that, I gotta say, was an amazing game. Don't grab that, I'm running out of time. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, ah, dang it. Oh, I was 15, 15 milliseconds off. I'll do that on my own time. Oh man. But yeah. Um only HD remakes I want to see by Sega right now is Sonic Heroes or the um Sonic Riders, the original HD remake. Just one of those. One of those guys. Cause 
I love the original Sonic Riders, and I wish I could get it again, but I can't, because I don't see it anywhere in the world. But yeah, because the original Sonic Riders was amazing, hands down, best one in the series. Uh, I see some people arguing these days, like which one was better, Zero, Gra Zero Gravity or Sonic Riders. The original? I think the original. Like, the original was so much better. Like, and they say the gravity system, like, basically made it the best. I'm just like, nah. Because the gravity system is nice and all, don't get me wrong, I like it. But, I feel like, I feel like it made the game too easy. Like, cause I can be, I can win, in for, I can win first place every single time. Like, seriously, it's just way too easy. It, it gives no challenge anymore. It's just, it's just like, it just simplified it. <laughs> it's just like, nah, I want to go back to the hard, the hard days, like when everything was harder. Like, you know, Sonic Riders, the original, it made, it made, it made you do everything, basically. Like, it gave you a nice drift. I gotta say, that drift is amazing in the original. So much better than the one we get in Zero Gravity. Like, like, cause that one's too easy. I mean, that one's e the one in the original is easy to me as well. But you just gotta get a feel for it. But even then, it's more useful. And, um... And, um, the trick system. See, in the second game, it's all about timing. In the first game, it's about timing... And it's about what you do, like, you know, because they give you the option to, like, make your own tricks. Well, I say make your own tricks, but other people just say, well, I know my friend says, really, it's just a combination of tricks that you get to create. And, yeah, it's basically that, too. So, yeah, basically, you know, it just depends on what you do more like than, uh, more like than when you release, when you hit the jump button. Nah, it's about what tricks you do in the amount of time you have while in midair. And the more tricks you do, the more air you get. That was awesome. That was like my favorite part of that about the original game, that you got to make your own tricks. Cause like, I used to go buck wild crazy in the midair. In midair, like, I, I, I just went crazy. I'm just like, alright, I'm gonna do this, that, that. Yeah, I, that, that's what made that game fun for me. That and the turbulence. The turbulence is still in every game, don't get me wrong. But, you barely see it. Like, you don't see it at all in many sections like and then on top of that it's barely there that, that, that's what kills it man. like you see the turbulence thank you, I my car. but um you see the turbulence in the second game but it's only a certain come on but it's only in certain sections and there's only so much you'll see and you gotta be there right on time when you to see it and if you're not there on time you're not gonna see it see you gotta be fast and all that but see, in the first game, it stayed. Like, the turbulence was throughout the whole game. Like, shoot, anybody can create turbulence. So, like, you know, if you were the fastest, if you were in first place, you're the one leading the turbulence. And that's what I like. That's what made it so fun. The first game, the turbulence was, like, almost everything. Like, that was your way of coming back to win. That, oh, come on. That was your way of coming back to win. That was your way of um, catching up. That was your way of everything, basically. That's why I like the turbulence a lot. Um, and the boosting. See, the boosting is still. Well, no, it's not. It's not in the second game at all. See, um, uh, the boosting. The boosting, uh, also, also called like you know, summoning your attack, basically. Oh yeah, I'm done with all those missions. By the way, they were pretty easy. Um, it should be no problem to you guys. Um, let's see the boosting from Sonic Riders. Um, see, overdrift. You'll, you'll see what this one's about. It's pretty easy. Just grab as many rings as you can while drifting to get to the golden time. That's really all it is. Really, there's no, there's nothing else you got to do. Just get to the golden time. Um, but yeah, let's see the boosting in Sonic Riders. The boosting was amazing. I like the boosting a lot. See, um. But the boosting you did, you just like, you know, boost first with the boosting, you use it to catch up. And second, you um you use it for like attacks, right? And the attacks were like, you know, you get like certain levels, like you know, level one attack, level two attack, and level three attack. See, usually for me, since I was always in first place, I just use the boosting to go faster and create turbulence and all that. 
But yeah, the, bo the boosting was a really nice touch to the game. That was like my, that was one of my favorite things in that whole game. But see, the second game they took that away. They, they took, they took away the boosting, and instead they were, they made the special attack thing available. But they, it was like very, very, very rare as an item. Really, you had to be in like last place to be able to get that item anyway. The freak. <laughs> I went past the goal. Yeah, you had to be in like last place to get that item anyway, and most of the time you never caught up in time to use it. So it was it was stupid in the second game. And in the third game, it was the same way. Free riders, um, except they kind of gave us the boosting back, but not exactly. No. So you you just kick your foot and then you go faster. Ooh, SBO Master of Camouflage. All right, enough about Sonic Riders. All I want is Sonic, uh, I'm, I'm gonna just conclude it. Sonic Riders HD Remake and Sonic Heroes HD Remake. That's all I want, guys. Please make it happen. Anyway. And Sega, get back on your feet. Do good. Make Sonic Adventure 3. Good job. Um, yeah. Anyway. Back to this game. <laughs> um. Think you can find Espio, Master of Camouflage. I like Espio a lot. Espio is one of my favorite, uh, Sonic characters. Aw, oh, screw you. Um, really, because he made such an awesome appearance in Sonic Heroes, like, his whole idea to be in Sonic Heroes was amazing to me. I liked it a lot. Oh yeah, um, sorry if he cut his SBO cusses, because in this mission, one day I was playing it and I heard SBO say the D word, so yeah, you know, viewer discretion is advised, um, is advised, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, basically, I like SBO because he, that dude's cool. I like him. He was a nice addition to Team Chaotix, and he was a nice addition to Sonic Hero. Period. Like, you know, I, I like fun to use. Very fun to use. And, where is he? Oh. Where are you? Alright, there we go. Um, let's see. SBO and Sonic Heroes, most of the time I didn't feel like his full potential because you couldn't use his uh, invisibility like that. But sooner or later, they came out with a mission in Egg Fleet um, that you could use his invisibility to his full potential. Because, like, the mission was you couldn't get caught, right? And that was so much fun using SBO's invisib invisibility instead of invisibility. Um, invisibility, right? And basically, while you're invisible with SBO, you don't do that little uh, spin dash thing. Well, you can still, but it's weird. But um, you do that. You uh, throw his you throw kunai's as well, or like you know, um, shurikens or whatnot. And that was by far the best mission ever to me. Like I really like Team Chaotix because um, mainly because of SBO. Because he's just so awesome. I like SBO a lot. Um. He, he was a great character in Sonic Heroes. He, he was a he was amazing. Anyway, drill baby drill. I know <laughs> I remember this mission. See, um, there was a thing I used to say whenever I got to this mission. Like it was based off of uh what uh the show Adventure Time. If y'all know what that is, what Finn and Jake had said in there one time. I forgot what episode, but they said a line. Like it was they said a line together. There was like oh yeah baby yeah baby yeah baby yeah yeah, and basically <laughs> I said that a lot when I heard that line. And now when I play this when I play this level, I immediately think of that. I'm just like, oh drill, baby, drill, baby, drill, baby, drill, drill. Dang it. See, I I, I say that a lot when I get to this level. But yeah. Um, dang it. So basically yeah, that that's that's kind of a funny story. But yeah. You might be care uh, be careful of this level because that can happen a lot. Like you can do one thing but not mean to do it. Like, hit all these crates. Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna be at this for a while. Because these crates are so annoying. Ugh. Okay, whatever. Oh, but the fudge sticks. How? Ah, oh well. Oh yeah, right down the middle. When I first did this, I went straight into the spike. I was like, I went straight into the middle spike. I was like, really? Of all the things you can hit, you hit the spikes. And I missed the time again. Oh, well, I got plenty of, ah, I got plenty of time. 
Plenty of time. Plenty of time. And no rings, so. Alright, let me be careful. I don't want to die. Booyah! And I made it. Alright. That's drill, baby. Drill done. I like that mission a lot. Really, I just do it if I want to go fast or whatever. I can get through it much, much faster, but I was just chillaxing there. Alright, I got this doppelganger race to do. Hmm. Yeah, this doppelganger race is pretty easy. Although, last time I did it, I kept trying to hit that hell. I kept trying to take all the, um, shortcuts and whatnot. Failed a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, I can get it this time. Right, let's go. All right. And we hit that. We're on this rail now. Thank you, helicopter. And here we go. Oh yeah, see? Taking them shortcuts is helpful. Yeah, when I first learned about that shortcut, I was like, no way. Like, the moment I did it, I was like, I am I am the best. <laughs> I am the best. Oh yeah. Now let's hit that. I like Speed Highway. Speed Highway was nice. I remember it took some talking to for me to uh Yo, be quiet. Uh -huh. Sorry. Um, anyway. It took some talking to for me to play this game. That was a fail right there. Um, like, originally, I don't think I was gonna play I didn't think I was gonna play Sonic Adventure. Because, um, I thought the game looked stupid. <laughs> like, I really thought this game looked stupid. Whoa, they got way ahead of me. <laughs> okay, they're just destroying everything for me. Fine. Whatever. Um, shoot. Help me out. <laughs> um, anyway. Um, I didn't like the game. It looked stupid. Um, it just looked stupid. It just didn't look as good as Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and Sonic Heroes. Because I played those games before I played this game. And I was like, I don't really know. And like, my friend, Nightmare Zero X5, y'all know him already. Um, he, uh, recommended it to me. And I was like, mm, I don't know. This game looks stupid. And he was like, it's a great installment to the Sonic series and all that. Talked me into it. I was like, that was a fail. And um, I was like, alright, fine. I'll give it a try, right? And the moment I played it, I was like, alright. This game's actually pretty fun. Go, 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 get up. Oof, thought I was about to fall in. This is not the Xbox 60 commercial. I do not want to jump in there. Okay, that was kind of lame. Sorry about that, guys. Um, But yeah. I played it. I liked it. Speed Highway... Um, Speed Highway has some amazing. It was like it was a great level, and it had an amazing soundtrack. Well, it was, it, was, it had an amazing um, yeah, it was, it was amazing music. Basically, I totally didn't get that S rank. Hold up, I'm about to restart, guys. Ooh, I can homing attack on that rocket again. But yeah, um, I like Sonic. I like Speed Highway. Speed Highway is really nice. Level. It's right next to Windy Valley and Final Egg. Man. Windy Valley just because I like the level. Cause the level is amazing, Windy Valley. Um, and then, what was it? Um, Final Egg, yeah. Final Egg was amazing. And it's the level, kind of. But what really does it for Final Egg for me is the music. Like, the first section, like, when you first get into Final Egg, that music is amazing. Like that little first section you go through, that is like the best part of the whole level. Simply because of the music. I like that music a lot. It's just perfect. Ugh, man, that <laughs> it's just so amazing. But yeah. And then I think it's the last section where that music uh comes back again. But yeah, this dude, it's just because of music for me and kind of the level. Yeah. Um, Windy Valley, purely the level. I mean, the music's alright, but the level is amazing. So, um, what else? Emerald Coast. I liked Emerald Coast. It was fun. It was fun. Whoa. Yeah. I liked the level. It was fun. It was fun. 
Um, I did lots more exploring than I than I actually did the level. I didn't really do the level like that. I just explored my life. Cause like I wanted to know what was there and whatnot. I just I just explored the level. I didn't even do the le I didn't even do the level really. I just explored most of the time. I was just like, all right, what's over this hill? What's over there? What's behind here? Yeah, I didn't really do the level like that. Me, when I played Sonic Adventure, I just took advantage of exploring. Since we didn't have a since it didn't have a ranking system, I took advantage of exploring. So yeah, that's what I did a lot. I didn't care about the level, like I didn't care about getting the level done like that. Good don't want to get attacked on the rock and get farther. But yeah. Um yeah, like I said, I took advantage of the of exploring. Yeah. I like the game. I like the game a lot. Um, Gamma. Gamma was definitely fun. I like Gamma a lot. He was cool. I wish his levels were longer though. Kind of like the mechs in um, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. I wish his levels were longer like that. Because then I'd really have some fun. I mean, the mechs in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle were pretty fun. I knew those better than I knew Gamma. Because, you know, I played Sonic Adventure 2 Battle first. And, um, they were cool. Um, I liked it. Um, so, you know, yeah. Um, trying to think. Which one do I like better, Gamma or the Mechs? I don't really know. It's kind of a tie for me. Because the Mech Battles were really fun. Although, Story Mode Mech Battles were cheap as fudge. That last Mech Battle you do with Eggman, or, or, well, Eggman, like the second one. The second one, not the first one between Tails vs. Eggman. The second one, uh, Eggman vs. Uh, Tails vs. Eggman. The second one. That one is hard. Oh, where am I going? That one is hard as fudge. Like, uh, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna get into it. Just, just look it up on YouTube. It, it's ridiculous. Like, it's just so unfair. Uh, uh, it makes me mad. Um, oh, shoot, not wearing It makes me mad how, how unfair it was, but. Look it up, guys. What the? What in the? Okay, whatever. That ring totally glitched out. Huh? All of them are glitching out. Okay, not all of them. <laughs> Most of them were. Don't hit that bomb, guys. If you hit that bomb, you'll be very angry. Yeah, right now I'm just collecting rings, to be honest. I'm not even worried about the level. Although I should be, because I should be worried about that two minute mark coming up. Hey man, chill with the bombs. I'm not trying to lose the rings. Jeez. I'm supposed to be shooting out rings, not bombs. What type of robot are you? Yeah, there you go. Shoot them out faster. Faster because I need them. Ooh. Saw that dodge right there, guys. Mm. Flag steady also. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ten seconds, ten seconds. There we go. That's how you make it. <laughs> there you go. Actually, I think that was the last mission for this place. So, I think I'm going to conclude this video. Yeah, that was the last mission. Um, yeah. So, yeah, um, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you like what I do, hit that subscribe button. Um, don't forget about the question of the day, guys. Out of the whole entire adventure era, Sonic Adventure 1, Sonic Adventure 2, and Sonic Adventure... Th and, no, not Sonic Adventure 3. Um, Sonic Heroes, which game do you like the best? Me, it's personally a tie between Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and Sonic Heroes. That is just too ridiculous to decide. It's like deciding between two children. Do I want the son or do I want the other son? I don't know. <laughs> it's hard. It just can't. It, just can't, it can't be done. But yeah. This is Supersonic X22, guys, and I'll see you later. Peace.